My role is to work with the customer in the early launch phase of the aircraft to ensure that we provide the best electrical system design for them. The purpose of the power distribution on board an aircraft is three roles mainly. Firstly, to distribute electrical power to the loads on that aircraft. Secondly, to protect the wires and the loads from any electrical hazard. And thirdly, to route the most appropriate power source to each of those loads. I'd normally get engaged with the customer in the two years prior to the aircraft launch, when we try and optimise our system design to meet his aircraft needs. The electrical distribution system can influence the gains to the aircraft considerably. On an A380, up to 500 kilometres of wire is needed. Through an intelligent design of the electrical distribution system, we can save maybe 100 kilograms of weight, even on a small business jet. At this stage, we look to balance the risk against the benefit to the customer of new equipment on the aircraft. And effectively, we're judging whether we can bring the risk-reward curve more to the left so that we're able to offer better technology that can give him greater benefits on board his aircraft. The challenges with new aircraft is that they now have multiple power sources. Much like green microgrids have, the electrical power distribution system has to manage those sources and provide power to each of its loads. So GE uses its technology to help design equipment that can work at high voltages, to help reduce the wire gauge needed to distribute to the loads, operate at lower temperatures so that the units may be placed in distributed locations of the aircraft, the most important role at the end of the day for the electrical power system is to keep the aircraft and the people on it safe. Conventionally, this has been done with circuit breakers and fuses. Today, as technology moves forward, GE is using solid state distribution systems to provide better control for the user, safer systems, and health and usage monitoring systems.